back again how to change the oil on a Briggs and Stratton EX 1900 you can use a driver here to get that square thing off or you can come here I use this little square side Doop, doop, doop. there he is right there oil I got me a little piece of cardboard leading down into my drip pan you gonna find out if it works just like I am don't want it to run all over these cords so I'm gonna try to keep them out of the way I push this back in there see everybody with them uh they got drain plugs that slips in right here on this thing they got it on the cover but mine came just like this with this square thing in here Coming out though. It'll never be the same in terms of not having scratches on it, but it's coming out of there. There she blows. Get a little bit on the side, but hey, it's coming off right down into the drip pan. As you can see, even what's dripping off the side. A little clean up, so got the cores out of the way. It works. One thing about this machine is, look how black that oil is. But it kept it. It's due. But strange thing is the oil um oil filters on the other side. Alright, so I got my drain plug back in. Got the oil up from here. Ain't no oil right there, it just looks like that because it's shiny and the rest of it dull so now we come to the other side of the mower where i've put my drain pan on this side there's the oil filter i'm gonna set you up so you can see here okay too tight let's try something
And it's really awkward getting up in there. I can try from below. It's moving, but it ain't budging. It really looks like it's moving. <clears throat> I don't want to break anything. That's that would be, you know, defeating the purpose of everything. <clears throat> but it does look like it's moving. I gotta get some leverage with this top orange one. It's hard to move it because of this cord, these lines. It is moving. Come on.